cutting cassava plants in the hot sun. These farmers in Burundi may not realize it, but their work represents a success story for plant genetics research. For 23-year-old Angelique Nyonganji, who fled her home to escape violence during years of civil war, this simply is a chance to live a more stable life. I've been living in a camp for internally displaced persons for two years now. We had no choice. The security situation at home was really bad and we had to go. Since that time, though, my husband and I have managed to get a plot of land. We hope that by next year we'll be living in a house of our own. Hundreds of thousands of people ended up in camps in Burundi or in neighboring countries during a dozen years of conflict. Those who have returned to areas like the northwestern province of Chibitoke find they are facing a new challenge in the struggle to feed their families. A devastating plant disease that has laid waste to most of the cassava crops in Burundi and in much of the Great Lakes region of Africa. If we had to do without cassava in this country, we would have widespread famine. In this part of the country, cassava is the main staple crop. It is the most important source of food here. Since 2002, cassava mosaic disease has left thousands of people without a major source of daily food and led the average market price of cassava to increase by at least 10 times. Now an emergency rehabilitation program coordinated by the UN Food and Agriculture Organization and funded by the European Commission's Humanitarian Aid Department is replacing virus-damaged cassava with new disease-tolerant varieties from elsewhere in Africa. Working with government officials, research institutes throughout the region, and local laboratories, the FAO project is making use of plant genetics research to clone and distribute cassava plants to a network of Burundian farmers groups. Those farmers, in turn, are expected to hand over a portion of their crops in the form of cuttings to create new plants. Those cuttings go to people like Nyonganji. I'm very hopeful for the future because now I have the cassava cuttings. I can plant the cassava and I'll be able to feed my family. And eventually I should be able to sell some of the crops so that I can buy some of the things that I need. Yes, I'm very happy about this. We know that by the end of this year, because we are now in the planting season, so it takes one year to grow, we know that by the end of 2008, as a, this country might be self-sufficient regarding Mosa, uh, cassava. So I think this is really a success. The EU-funded FAO project is using a similar approach to outsmart another plant disease, banana xanthomonas wilt or BXW. Laboratories are providing in vitro banana saplings, and again, local farmers are growing and sharing the new variety. In Burundi, plant genetics research combined with regional and local cooperation, gives vulnerable families a better chance at recovering from years of adversity. <laughs>